What's up guys, it is IRGT85. We have a lot of news to talk about, so we're gonna skip the intro. If this is your first time on the channel though, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to like and share the video. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games and we're going to start things off with Ubisoft. Now, there's a lot of people out there that don't like Ubisoft. They actually hate Ubisoft, but for me, Ubisoft is an okay company. I like some of the stuff they do. Immortals Phoenix Rising was kind of a breath of fresh air to see a game like this come from Ubisoft. I feel and it was a really fun game sure at its core it was kind of assassin's creedy but i mean i liked what that game brought to the table i liked the writing for the game and i thought the whole traversal system of the game was really fun but of course, as of late, we've been hearing that Ubisoft is shifting to a more free-to-play model with microtransactions, games as a service, and whatnot. The next Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Infinity, is supposed to be something that lasts you forever, and they're just going to add in more maps and stuff like that. I will be very curious to see how this works out. But of course, over the weekend, a new game from Ubisoft was teased on various social media platforms, such as IGN, and people were like, maybe it's Splinter Cell, and then we saw the game, and hey, it wasn't... wasn't Splinter Cell. I think at this point in time, we just need to give up on Splinter Cell. Let's be realistic here. The last Splinter Cell didn't sell all that great, so maybe people should have put their money where their mouth is with Splinter Cell. But now we have a new game coming to us from Ubisoft, and to the shock of no one, it's a free-to-play game. It's a game called X Defiant, and it's kind of stylized to be like XD, like the little emoji, because, you know, that, that that's cool, I guess. It is a new six-on-six first-person shooter game that, yes, is free to play so how are they going to make money on this well with microtransactions out the ass of course there's going to be tons of stuff you can customize in the game you can customize weapon loadouts you can customize the look of your characters with basic gear and stuff from various ubisoft franchises including some splinter cell related gear so that should make everyone very happy but just looking at the trailer for this game i mean it just looks so generic and i think we're getting to a point with these free to play games where it's like how many free to play games do we need that do a similar thing to other free-to-play games at some point in time people are actually just going to utilize the free-to-play system and not actually give you microtransaction money thus making this a complete bust for the developers of this game everything we've seen so far from this game just looks extremely generic now this game does not have a release date yet but supposedly they're trying to beat Call of Duty to the marketplace by offering a similar Call of Duty experience even though it doesn't look anything like Call of Duty to me so I don't know why people are saying that but it does seem like this game will be be coming out this year and i don't know man it's just it, i mean it's free to play so i might check it out but a game called x defiant with the little xd stuff and the whole presentation there was a guy saying it's like a punk rock mosh pit because when i think of punk rock i think of ubisoft games so this game it's not gonna have legs i don't feel i think this is a game that will be a flash in the pan and then ubisoft will have to move on to another project but yes a new free to play first person shooter six on six is coming to us from ubisoft it's called x defiant and I don't know, maybe you think it looks awesome, and if you do, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, while the Nintendo Switch Online service definitely has its high points and its low points, one thing I always say that I feel they should expand upon is the free game trial system. Now, Nintendo has released a bunch of games on the free trial system where essentially you get to download the full version of the game, play it for a week, and then if you decide you like the game, you can pick the game up at a discounted price on the Nintendo Switch eShop. We've seen first party games such as Mario Tennis Aces be on this service. We've seen third party games like Disgaea 5 be on this service. And of course, Nintendo, much like the NES and SNES, online games they just sort of randomly do this there's no real rhyme or reason i definitely feel like they should do this at least once a month you have enough games on the nintendo switch where you could do something like this and of course it would revitalize potentially nintendo switch game sales for games that sort of just fizzled out because people forgot it existed well nintendo is doing a new game in the game trial system but this game it doesn't make sense to be on the game trial system so from July 21st through July 27th, customers in North America with the Nintendo Switch Online service will be able to check out the full game of Among Us. Now, I'm not sit gonna sit here and say that Among Us is a bad game. I picked the game up when it came out on the Nintendo Switch, and honestly, it's a pretty fun game. Trying to figure out who the killer is, trying to kill people and not get caught doing it. There's definitely a lot of fun in this game, so I can understand the appeal of it, but let's be realistic here. Among Us is literally a $5 game. If we're talking about $5 games breaking your gaming budget, and that's something you have to decide, you know, oh, I need a demo for this. I need to play this game for a week to see if this is a game for me. You should 
probably get a cheaper hobby. Like, I'm not a wallet watcher or anything like that, but I feel like a $5 game has no business being available on the game trial service. And much like the previous games available on game trial, you'll be able to get 30% off this game between July 21st and August 1st if you decide to pick up the full version of the game. It's just kind of like... I mean, it's cool, I guess. It's another free game that you can pick up on the Nintendo Switch for a week and then decide if you want to put your $5 towards it or not. But it just seems like there's so many better candidates for this. There's so many better games that should be available on the Nintendo Switch serve online service via a game trial that a $5 game just really has no business being on it. But yes, if you are on the fence about Among Us, which I'm sure you're not because it's pretty much a game where you look at it and you say, hey, I want to play this or hey, I don't want to play this. Now you'll be able to play the full version of the game for a week starting on July 21st and then decide if you want to purchase it or not at a discounted price. So, yay, yay. Next up, we've seen a lot of surprise games come to the Nintendo Switch in terms of technology and whether or not people think that these games can run on the system. Games like The Witcher 3, which I think is one of the best handheld experiences on the system and of course has gotten subsequent graphical updates. Games like Mortal Kombat 11, Doom Eternal. There's been a lot of high quality third party ports come over to the Nintendo Switch that, yeah, some corners were cut when it comes to the visuals of the game or whatnot, but you're still getting that same core experience. And now we have yet another game coming to the Nintendo Switch completely out of the blue. I think this is a pretty big surprise and it's definitely going to be a game like The Witcher 3 or a Doom on the Nintendo Switch to where it's like, well, how the hell do they get this running natively on the Switch and how good is this port going to be? And that is Dying Light Platinum Edition. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I never played Dying Light. It does look like an RGT game, so I'm kind of surprised I never got around to playing this game. And of course, Dying Light 2 is coming out on December 7th, 2021 for the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. But Dying Light has actually never been on a Nintendo platform before, and the Platinum Edition will be coming out on the Nintendo Switch in the month of October. Now, you get the main game of Dying Light with this, you get four of the main DLCs, and you get 17 skin packs included in this version of the game. So, that's a lot of content. It seems like this game is chock full of content to begin with, and of course, there's a lot of online stuff with this game as well, but it seems like this isn't just a half-assed Nintendo Switch port, because there's actually Nintendo Switch specific features being added into this version of the game. There's going to be support for HD rumble, gyro aiming, motion controls, touchscreen stuff, and of course the local and online co-op. So I'm kind of impressed that this game is coming to the Nintendo Switch because like I said, it definitely looks like a very taxing game on the system, a game that's sort of based on local and online co-op as well. And it's a first person perspective games are taking down hordes of zombies and stuff like that. A bunch of cool different weapons you can utilize, vehicles to traverse the world in as well. It's a huge open world. So it's like, how is this game going to look and run on the Nintendo Switch. Now, the trailers that I'm showing you right now are from the previously released versions of the game. This is not Nintendo Switch specific footage, but I'm definitely curious to see this game running on the Nintendo Switch. And of course, there's been rumors about a Nintendo Direct potentially happening one more time this year. I think the month of September is a bet is a good bet with this, and I feel like this is a game that would be showcased at this September event if we do indeed get one, because this is a game where you could show off the Nintendo Switch specific trailer to get people excited for it. Now, of course, Dying Light is is only a couple dollars on the other platforms right now because it's been out for a very long time and the Nintendo Switch version will be releasing for $49.99 so if you have other platforms it's probably better to check out the game on those because I'm sure it'll look better and run better but if you only own a Nintendo Switch this is definitely a very interesting thing there's going to be a physical edition of the game as well that comes with some physical goodies much like The Witcher 3 did so honestly I'm looking forward to this I probably will pick it up on the Nintendo Switch just so I could review it for you guys and show you guys how the game runs on the system but I like this about the Switch, and I know people say, oh, well, there gets it gets a lot of old third-party ports, but I didn't play a lot of these third-party games. I didn't play The Witcher 3, The Last Generation. I didn't play a game like Dying Light, The Last Generation. So being able to check these games out on the Nintendo Switch for the first time is kind of a fun thing for me. And yeah, I could buy them on my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox One, but it's like, I can't make a video on a five-year-old game and have people watch it. But if I talk about the Switch version of the game, hey, people will dig it. So let me know in the comment section down below if you are looking forward to Dying Light, if you're surprised that this game is coming to the Nintendo Switch, because I definitely think this is a surprise announcement. 
And finally, as we are all pretty much well aware, at some point in time, the online stores for various consoles will be shutting down. We of course saw this with the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita, where Sony was pulling the plug on them and then everyone was kind of outraged and then Sony said, oh, never mind, we're going to keep them up for a little while longer. But eventually, all of these are going to go away and the digital marketplaces on these systems, of course, will no longer be available. You won't be able to buy games on these systems. And it seems like the sun is starting to set on the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS and it's setting a little bit sooner than I think some people anticipated. Last night Nintendo of Japan talked about some upcoming changes to the way you'll be able to purchase games on the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS that will be starting within a few months. Now before we get into these changes I mean looking at the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS online services and the games you can purchase on these consoles like it's very night and day compared to the Nintendo Switch. Of course you have all the virtual console stuff which really made those systems shine. I mean the Wii U you could buy any Anything from an NES game to an N64 game on this platform, even some GameCube games and stuff like that. You of course have the Nintendo 3DS, which has a virtual console games for the Super Nintendo and stuff of that nature. Various consoles like the Game Gear, a great variety of systems that we don't see on the Nintendo Switch as it only allows for NES and Super Nintendo. And then of course you have all the games that were designed for the 3DS and the Wii U's eShop that will never be able to be bought again because they are lost forever because there's no physical editions of these games. Well, the state comes to us from Nintendo of Japan saying the following. Thank you for your continued patronage of our products. We are pleased to announce, I'm pretty sure that that's just Google Translate saying pleased to announce, that the handling of credit cards and electronic money for transportation at the Nintendo 3DS series and the eShop in the Wii U will be terminated at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. After the end, you will not be able to add balances using credit cards and transportation electronic money from the Nintendo 3DS series and the Wii you. Now, right now, this is for Japan only, but I'm anticipating that Nintendo of America will be announcing something very similar very soon, and Nintendo of Europe as well. And for a lot of people, this won't really be a big deal. It's like, oh, well, I can still buy an eShop card and purchase these games by using my credit card or whatever, or PayPal funds. So it's really not that big of a deal. But shutting down the online services for being able to buy something via a credit card is kind of a big deal for a lot of people because it sort of cuts down on the ease of use of being able to do this. And if they're already starting to cut out payment methods it won't be very long until they cut out games in general being able to buy games on these systems in general and like i said this comes down to something like preservation related stuff it's like what about these games that were designed for the wii u eShop in mind and the 3ds eShop in mind that we'll never be able to play again look at all the games that were on the WiiWare system like the rebirth series castlevania and contra rebirth i loved those games and of course i can't buy those games anymore on the ds side of things there was tons of games as well that were released on the Nintendo DSi that you can no longer purchase and you can no longer buy. So it's definitely something that I feel is going to be coming sooner than later. I wouldn't be surprised if in 2022, Nintendo shuts down the Wii U and the uh, 3DS's eShops completely to where you can't buy anything any again. And then what will happen with all these lineage systems and classic systems that you won't be able to play these games for on your Wii U or your 3DS anymore? This is kind of the reason why people turn to piracy in these situations because they want to play a specific game, but if the latest console doesn't offer this game you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this though do you think this is a big deal do you expect the wii u and 3ds eShops to go completely down in 2022 or nintendo gonna sort of drag their feet with this Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below a lot of topics we talked about are you excited for x defiant and among us on the switch yeah how do you think dying light will run on the switch i think that's going to be very interesting to see and the wii u and 3ds eShops are they going away sooner than we thought because i don't know man it still feels kind of soon and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to like and share the video as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later